Happy Heart Farms. Today I'm going to show you how to make an aspirator or an aerator. Um, and it's used to put air, dissolved oxygen, into your water. Basically, it, what I have here, I got in some pieces, but I have a three quarter inch T. Now you can use whatever size you're using. I'm using three quarter inch pipe, so I'm using a three quarter inch T. I've cut a little piece of pipe here so that I can put an end cap on. I'm using a three quarter inch end cap flat on the end. It just makes it easier to drill through. I have a BIC pen, just the cheap BIC pen where I've cut it at a 45 degree, well, more like a 30 degree angle on the end. I put it on the uh, PVC pipe I have in my T and I'm going to make the slanted side face away from the open side like so. And as you can see, it's like so. And then I'm going to put a, my pipe on it. I drilled some holes in the side. Don't really know if it matters a whole lot. The reason I, I drilled holes in the side is um, it allows water to come through a little bit better instead of backing up in my other uh, grow bed. So uh, let's take a look and see how it works. As you can see, I've attached the T to the um, pipe coming from my bell siphon. And uh, right now I have my pump off. I'll turn it on and let you guys take a look at it. As you can see, the uh, water is coming through my bell siphon and it is generating uh, bubbles as it sucks it in through the big pen. Great little setup. Uh, doesn't cost a whole lot to set it up. The pen's probably one of the more expensive parts of it. Hey, you guys have a great day and visit us at www.happyheartfarms.com.